episode? In the previous episodes of Life is Strange. Whoa. We call the film Little Pieces of Time. Because Max wants everybody to see I'm how so she is. I'm so sick of people trying to control me! Don't ever touch me again, freak! It totally makes sense. You hella saved my life. I think it's awesome you set a tongue record on video. <laughs> You're going to be sorry someday. And there she is. How are you doing, Max? Hi, Joyce. I am so sorry about William. I have great memories of him. That was his gift to us. Wonderful memories. Let's talk about your superpower. Hey, it's Thelma and Louise. You're my business now. That's and I... Rachel's bracelet. Why the fuck are you wearing her bracelet? You want me to cut you, bitch? Please, step back. You're kidding. Put that down. Please, get me out of here! Max! Nobody cares about me. Nobody. <laughs> What are you doing here, Max? Now, I know today was difficult for everybody. Miss Caulfield, why exactly were you on the roof with Kate Marsh? Please, tell us everything. What the hell is this? Max, there was no eclipse scheduled today. I believe you, Warren. I'll believe anything this week. Oh yeah, I remember, totally. <laughs> Getting two o'clock in the morning, playing Life is Strange. Ugh. I've done my Halloween playthrough though, so yay for that. Chloe would be all over this. So I better get moving. Oh, I'm sorry, Lisa. I saved Kate, but I drowned my own plant. I killed the plant, whoops. There's been so much going on, I almost forgot about the eclipse. <sighs> all this atmospheric action can't be a coincidence. And all roads are leading to my tornado vision. How did Sherlock Holmes deduce anything without the internet? Well, he wasn't really Glad the media doesn't waste a second exploiting Kate. Now she has another video of herself all over the web. And even I'm in this one. <sighs> At least the news didn't mention my name. Yet. Yeah, as someone who was in a video footage of a suicide bombing, I can tell you, you'll see your face on the news on the other side of the world. Hmm. Huh. Besides Rachel, it's been a while since anybody vanished from Arcadia Bay. I shouldn't sound so disappointed. I sure hope these people treat her better when she comes back to school. If she does. Wait. 
it ain't isn't that Taylor and Victor uh, aren't weren't they uh, hmm. hopefully they've uh, ha had a change of heart and either I delete my page or I block everybody nowhere to hide these days delete your page I deleted my page <clears throat> everybody will be talking about Kate now Blackwell might as well shut down for the next month I killed my plant damn it okay I got a message from Warren This is disturbing. Yes, I have power, but Nathan is out of control. Yeah, he's kind of an asshole. Boop. Eat the bunny. Are you a hungry bunny? Here, nosh on this. I had a bunny. Her name was Tiffy. She was too big. <laughs> too big. Ew. Thanks for the image, Nathan. And everybody here thinks Samuel is a creeper? It's amazing how happy Kate looks here compared to today. She was basically pushed up to that roof. And I will use my power to find out why. This has to end. You know you're hurting when you don't give a shit about music. No way can I clean that shit off. Time to get Samuel da Vinci to repaint. <sighs> Kate's okay, Max. Take a breath. <clears throat> get your shit together. You have time. Do I have time? What's my timetable? Pretty hard to focus on my class schedule this week. I wonder why. I mourn you, plant. I mourn you. Okay, this is scary dark. Let there be... That's a depressing thought. And it's always about Victoria. Platitudes after shit goes wrong, that's the thing I really hate. I hope you burn bright again soon, Kate. I've always hated that part. Do they really need that crap on the door? Kate's still alive. So much hypocrite. in and everyone was all like oh you know we're uh, so sorry but uh, they weren't sorry hey Max I saw you go up on the roof and save Kate I can't believe she tried to jump. I can. I'm just so glad she didn't. Are you okay? I'm just like shocked. I've never seen anybody try to kill themselves before. Me neither. 
I didn't think you'd be so upset considering how much shit you and Victoria gave Kate. I'm my own person, not Victoria's bitch. Hello, like she's freaking too. She already broke curfew tonight. <gasps> shit, I'm not supposed to tell anybody. Where did she go? I know I can trust you since you were so nice asking about my mom in the hospital, but Victoria will like make my life hell if I blab, okay? No doubt. I do hope your mother gets better. Let me know if you need anything. Who Thanks. Are you? You're like weird, but pretty cool, Max. Especially after watching you go up on that roof. Victoria's wrong about you. Now I have to be alone for my nightly anxiety attack. Talk to you later. Kate probably won't want to look at these posters when she comes back. Ugh. Oh, Victoria isn't here. Maybe I'll just wait and bide my time. Going through her shit. Hey, can you come in here for a minute? Hey, Dana's really hurting over this. That messes you up, man. This is both sad and pathetic. I remember who you are now. That is so damn cute how much Dana is into this Halloween party. They're never still gonna have the party. Yes, the Vortex Club does indeed suck. Can I go through our computer? Aw, Trevor is a sweetie. Good for Dana. If Dana talks to Juliet about this, she's gonna wish she didn't. Dana looks guilty and relieved about Kate. She really does care. Just gonna cycle through this. You can pause this and read this if you want to read her thoughts. Uh, put, put, put the video in full screen, I mean. You won't be able to read this on the, uh, the standard YouTube player, Jesus. Silhouette, a squirrel, fish, cigarette and a skull and bones, a bird, looks like a bird statue, a jacket, another bird, two people with their backs to us, I don't know what that is, and a ant with a feather. <coughs> I don't know what the one next to the ant with the feather is. Hey, Dana. How are you doing? Better than Kate. I just can't believe she would even attempt suicide. I think we're all responsible for what happened. True. But you're the only one who went up to that roof with Kate. So why do you think she was on the roof in the first place? Maybe Kate was so ashamed she got wasted on that video. I don't blame her, but it was pretty gross. Come on, you really believe that Kate Marsh wanted to get drunk at a Vortex Club party? So what exactly are you saying, Max? You think this has something to do with Nathan being expelled? It's complicated. I don't want to drag you into this, okay? Not yet, anyway. I'm getting scared now. But people here are still sneaking out tonight. What? Like, who? Victoria bounced out of here earlier, and now you, Sherlock? Not me. I need a break from today. Get some sleep too, Dana. I'll see you later. Do you want to know what this shit is like? When I was, uh, uh, I'm, well, I'm not going to say where I was, but one person, shit went bad for them, and they tried 
to end it failed and the person who found them and saved them was so fucked up about what happened and how uh, hideously violent it was that they then Aww, Trevor is a sweetie if Dana talks to Juliet about this she's gonna wish she didn't did end it and yeah you can get you can get a fucking proper chain without realizing on this kind of thing it messes you up man and you have no idea without thoughts and then shit like that was appealing these empty platitudes So messed up, man. God, I I'm, st I'm still messed up over that. Okay, I've calmed down. Let's go uh, do whatever it is we were doing. So Chloe is waiting for me in front of the main hall. I feel so giddy, even after Kate almost jumped. Well, it's Maybe it's the leftover adrenaline. Yeah, I was about to say that. But I feel kind of invincible now. Yeah, but you fucking hurt yourself. It's messed up, man. Squirrel, there. Can we take a photo of the squirrel? No. Hello, little friend. Care to look at the lens and say nut? Gotcha. I love. How the squirrel is playing with the fireflies. Uh, I swear there was a run. Ah, uh, here's the run. Oh, it's unlocked. I hope Sammy wasn't around. Nothing but tools. Nuts and bolts. <laughs> like my grandpa's garage. Who knew Samuel was so into runway fashion? You'd be surprised. I know Samuel doesn't wear silky scarves. So, who does? Nothing here. I don't know why I'm randomly investigating Samuel's uh, thing. Probably going to get told off now. The most magical insects burn bright. Everywhere I go, I can see how I'm altering history, big and small. Yeah, it's when you start remembering what. Play Final Fantasy XIII Part Two. 
So much fun altering history. Oh, God. Isaac Wells. Oh, are you serious? I'm, I'm toast if he sees me. Nobody can expel me. Not yet, anyway. Miss Caulfield, you have to be stealthier than that. You're not supposed to be outside your dormitory at this hour. You know that. I, I'm sorry, Principal Wells. I'm still tense after I thought Kate was going to jump today. I just needed some air and space to walk. No, no explanations. Seeing Kate come up on that roof, then seeing her come down with you. You saved her ass. <sighs> Maybe saved Blackwell. You're drunk. Now don't get cocky. Going back inside. You earned good dreams. He's very drunk. Great. So how do I get past him to meet Chloe? Blackwell almost lost another student. I wish Kate Marsh would just skip town. Now I have to deal with more pissed off. saw me. Maybe I could sneak by when he was trying to open the door. I know I have a set of keys on me somewhere. Max the ninja yeah. strikes again. There's no option not to. Just don't play the game. Fuck you, Spec Ops the Lion. Booyah! Ooh. Get it? Booyah. Like I'm a scary punk ghost. More like a scary punk asshole. Hey, Chloe, I didn't exactly have the greatest day trying to keep my friend from jumping off the roof. I don't think I need you to prank me tonight, okay? Sorry, but you absolutely balls to the walls did save your friend. <sighs> Kate saved herself. I couldn't even use my power. My head felt like it was being crushed. And then I had no clue what to say to her on that roof. Don't be so modest, Rockstar. Kate is alive because of you. You obviously said the right thing. And your badass power is gonna save us all. We just need to connect the plays. And find out who almost killed Kate. We have to stop this from happening to anybody else. Oh, yeah, and somehow stop that tornado from wiping out Arcadia Bay, right? Didn't you say that it was all about chaos theory? I don't see any control over this chaos. Oh, right, except for your ability to... Oh, yeah, manipulate time and space? No biggie. Chloe, I just feel weird about some of my decisions, especially after I just got Nathan expelled. Dude, do not even torture yourself like that. Let's focus on looking for clues, okay? We need to find out more about who Rachel was involved with around here. She was able to blend in with everybody, even with people I hated. And even though I don't know her, it feels like Rachel is guiding us to the truth. Fuck the truth. I just want to find my friend right now. It scares me to think where she could be. Do you think she's... Probably. Dead? I'm sorry. I hate even saying that, Chloe. Not as much as I hate thinking it. Max, we have to find Rachel soon. We have to. I promise you we will. Like you said, it's time to start the search for clues. Now tell me what's your secret. Drum roll, please. I present the spare keys to Blackwell. Thank you, step prick. You are such a boss, Chloe. I just... I don't want you to get into any more trouble. Look at all the trouble dropping in Arcadia Bay. At this point, who gives a fuck anymore? We're in it to win it, Max. Lead the way. I'm so glad you're my partner in crime. 
As long as you're my partner in time. And start growing here. You just left those keys unsecured? Jesus, man. Thank you again so much for helping me put together a portfolio. Hopefully the rest of the class will follow your lead. I'm sorry I was distracted. As you know, it's not been a good day for Blackwell. I know this has been an awful day, and you can talk to me anytime, Mr. Jefferson. Thank you, Victoria. I'm glad it had a relatively happy ending. I don't know what I would have done if Katie jumped. Katie? I had no idea you two were that close. Did she? Well, how does this affect the Everyday Heroes contest? <laughs> it doesn't. The contest is still a go, and I still have to pick the winner to best represent Blackwell. I've got all the photos, except one from Max. I'll give you a one-word sneak preview of Max's photo. Selfie. Listen, you've seen my entry. You know it's better than that. Wouldn't that be so cool to hang out together in San Francisco, Mark? Oh, Jesus, fuck. Stick to Mr. Jefferson, Victoria, please. And, uh, I mm. haven't picked a winner yet. I feel sick. You already love my work, so it's not like you're playing favorites. Just imagine if you picked my photo, though. We would have to spend a lot of time together. That could be fun, don't you think? Uh, I'm going to think that you didn't say any of that. You might as well choose me. Otherwise, I might have to tell people you offered to choose my photo for favors or something. As a favor to your future, I'll also ignore that undisguised threat. This conversation is officially over, Miss Chase. I suggest you go back to your dorm now. Wait! I only... Are you fucking kidding me? Uh. Uh. You're better than that woman. You're so much better than that. So stupid. Just when I think Victoria can't get any more evil. Shit is about to get real at Blackwell. Let's go find out. Skin's fucking crawling, dude. Oh, God, no. Chloe the Keymaster. You know it. Dude, I don't know about this. We're both already in so much trouble. Not to mention the weed you brought into my room. Joking. I'm serious. We're not kids anymore. We're breaking and entering. If I have a key, how can it be breaking? I get charges for just entering. I'm serious. We could go to jail. Not if I'm related to the head of Blackwell Security. Step shit will not want me in the hands of the local police. So we better find out what's in the principal's office first. You can rewind if we get caught, right? You have mad powers, Max. But my powers didn't save Kate. Maybe I did on my own. Come on. One more door and our work here is done. So, you're being a bit too cavalier there. And you're kind of giving your stepdad a hell of a lot of grief for no fucking reason. Oh, Rachel. I know you and Kate are connected by all this. Yeah, I'm gonna say that whole doping thing. First Rachel and now Kate? This is the end of the Vortex Club. time ago, Nathan got smacked down. I'm barely passing science. Ass biology. Ugh, gross. <laughs> oh. A periodic table. <sighs> Wish I knew what periodic means. I never said they were great, troll.
see the light through the windows at some point. If everyone lives on this campus. You can never escape the lighthouse here. I feel gross even looking at Nathan's work. But he does have some style. Oh, Kate. Even when you were sad, you tried to see the good in the world. Shit. Daniel's a better illustrator than photographer. <laughs> Said Max, the art critic. Victoria. That is pretty fucking sweet. How can I hate somebody that shoots like that? You don't hate him. Trust me, you don't hate him. Victoria's cigarettes? <laughs> I'm sure Mr. Jefferson is impressed. Snoopy, 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 Snoop. Snoopy, Snoopy, Snoop. Also, now we can slightly speak. 